The New England Patriots head coach will face the media today, no doubt fielding a lot of questions about the story that has millions of people talking. The Pats are accused of using deflated footballs in their win that sent them to the Super Bowl. Ron Mott reports from Glendale, Arizona, where the biggest game of the year will be played on February 1st. ESPN, citing anonymous sources, reports that the NFL found 11 of 12 game balls used by the New England Patriots were underinflated, which can make the balls easier to throw and catch, especially in the rain, as was the case in Sunday's victory. The controversy over Deflategate, as it's called on social media, centers on whether the Patriots tampered with their footballs after they were inspected by the referee. I think it's possible that the curtain has been pulled back here on a whole um, series of things that, goes, that go on behind the scenes that no one was really aware of. According to league rules, two hours before the game, 12 balls from each team are checked by officials, measured and weighed to meet league specs, and marked with the ref's signature. Ten minutes before the game, they are given to ball runners on both sidelines where they remain. So how could it happen? In just a few seconds, someone carrying a small pump needle like this can insert it into the ball and release two or three pounds of pressure. Enough, some say, to gain an edge even if it's barely noticeable. NFL rules do not govern access to footballs during games, but stipulate if any individual alters the footballs, they face discipline, including fines. I believe the loss of draft picks might be in play. I believe a suspension for the head coach might be in play, just depending on what kind of proof they have and even what kind of chain of custody they have on these stupid footballs. They've come this far, they've, they've played good football. Why would they want to jeopardize it? They're cheaters, and they, sh they should be punished for it. The Patriots and Coach Bill Belichick were heavily fined for Spygate in 2007, videotaping an opponent's signals during the game. The Patriots push the boundaries of the rules constantly. Uh, most of the time, they're within the realm of what's acceptable. This time, it appears they've gone outside it. While some Colts players joked that they would be happy to replace the Patriots in the Super Bowl, player Dwayne Allen said New England could have played with soap and beat us. So far, the league is only saying its review is continuing and an update will be provided as soon as possible.